Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating dummy variables for use in multiple regression. So I have fictitious data in the data view here in SPSS. And I have an emphasis variable and a job satisfaction variable. As you can see, the emphasis variable is categorical. It's nominal. So there are three areas of emphasis. And let's say this is for uh, counseling. So there's an emphasis on individual counseling, group counseling, and career counseling. And then let's say sometime later, a job satisfaction score is collected from these same participants uh, with a higher score indicating higher job satisfaction. So one analysis we may want to conduct with information like this is multiple regression. But a multiple regression cannot handle a nominal variable with more than two levels. As you can see, emphasis has three levels, one, two, and three. So what we need to do is to recode emphasis into other variables, and we call these dummy variables. And they have a value of either 0 or 1. So first we're going to recode. So we could transform and then recode. And we want to recode into different variables. We don't want to overwrite the variables we already have. So recode into different variables. And we're going to select uh, emphasis. And then we need to select an output variable. So in this case, we know that the uh, one value in emphasis is individual. So I'm going to put an individual. And I'm just going to make the label the same thing. So we can see emphasis, change to individual. So we want to go ahead and click change there. And then old and new values. So when the value is 1, I'll put that in, value is 1, we want the new value to be 1. And we want to make sure we add that. So a value of 1 would be individual. So when that occurs, we want this to be 1, which will also indicate that it's individual, uh, an individual counseling emphasis. Then, under all other variables, we want the value to be 0. We want to add that. So what we're saying here is in this new variable that we're creating, in this recode, if the value is 1, it's going to be continue at 1. It's going to stay 1. But if it's anything else, it's going to convert to 0. So the 1 will equal an emphasis in individual counseling, and a 0 will indicate the emphasis is not on individual counseling. So then we'll click Continue and OK. You see it's going to execute that request. And you can see now I have a new variable named individual, and it has a 1 and zeros. So whenever we see a 1, we know that's uh, individual counseling emphasis. And when we see a 0, we know that's not individual counseling emphasis. So we need to repeat the same procedure for the remaining variables. So again, we'll take the variable emphasis which you can see is already in here. So we just click on this, and that allows us to change the name. And not surprisingly, I'm going to change this to group and the label to group. And click Change. You see it's going to change here. And then Old New Values. And you can see here the values that were here. So in this case, we want the value of 2 to equal 1. Right? So in this case, if there's a 2, we know that's group. And this variable, a 1, will be uh, an emphasis on group counseling. And a 0 will not be. So we'll put a 1 here. And we'll add that. We'll go ahead and remove the 1 converted over to 1. And we already have the else is converted to 0. Uh, so we can leave that the way it is. So the 1 and the 3 values will be converted to 0. That would be the individual and career emphasis would be, would be recoded to zero. 
Of course, if we didn't have this in here, we go to all other values and then put a zero in here and add that. So I'll click continue here and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that there's a zero here where the emphasis was on individual, but there's a one where it was on group and of course a zero when it's on career. So, so far these are coded the way we want. And then the third variable would be career. So again, I'm just going to name this career. And the same thing for the label. Click change. Old new values. Again, we can leave the else is equal to zero. I will delete this one. The two goes to one because now we want the three to be recoded to one. So if there's a three, there'll be an emphasis on career counseling. Otherwise, the value equals zero, which means there is not an emphasis on career counseling. So we click add here. And again, we can just leave this else converted to zero in here. Click continue and click OK. And now we have all three of the dummy coded variables. And you can see for career, you'd expect the one to match up with the career here, and it does. So at this point, we can progress to running a linear regression. Of course, there's many assumptions with linear regression, which I'm not going to cover, but I do want to show you how to run the regression with the dummy coded variables. So we'll go to regression, linear, and I'm going to reset this. So the dependent variable here will be the job satisfaction variable, which is measured at the scale level in SPSS which means it's either interval or ratio. We'll move that to dependent. And then to independent, for the dummy coded variables, it works a little differently than one might think. Right? So we have an individual, a group, and a career. We have three nominal variables. But only two are loaded into this list box under independent. So what we would usually do in this circumstance is the variable that we want to create is the reference variable we want to compare the other variables to is the one we leave out of the list box. So let's assume that for this particular study that it's believed that individual counseling focus leads to the highest job satisfaction and we're experimenting to see if group or career would lead to higher uh, job satisfaction. We would leave individual out of the analysis and we'd load group and career into the analysis. So what you have here is you're creating a reference point and it's the variable that you leave out. So let me show you how this works. So individuals left out of the analysis and we only have group and career. I click OK. It's going to run, uh, in this case, the multiple regression because we have more than one predictor variable. And let's move down to the coefficients. So this would be a, an area of interest here in terms of understanding dummy coded variables. And you can see that, not surprisingly, we only have unstandardized coefficients for group and for career. So what this really means, what the, how you interpret this unstandardized coefficient is in relation to the variable that you did not include. In this case, it was individual. So this is a comparison between individual and group, and this is a comparison between individual and career. And you can see that the results for career were not statistically significant, and the results for group were statistically significant. So as we interpret this unstandardized coefficient, uh, here's Here's how we would make sense of this. This is a comparison between individual and group, and the value is positive 9.4. These unstandard, un unstandardized coefficients can also be negative. So this is a positive 9.4. So what this means is group, as compared to individual, will realize ni a 9.4 unit increase on the dependent variable. 
And if this were a negative 9.4, that would mean that the group emphasis as compared to the individual would see 9.4 fewer units on the dependent variable, which remember was job satisfaction. So if we look at career, career as compared to individual sees a 2.4 unit increase on the dependent variable. Again, if this were negative 2.4, it would be 2.4 fewer units. So of course, these are fictitious data, but if we were to interpret this, we would say that the job satisfaction for the group emphasis as compared to individual was significantly higher. And for career, it was higher, but not statistically significantly higher. Now you might be wondering here is how do we see the comparison between group and career? Right, so the reference variable we left out, which is individual. So this gives us a comparison to individual and group and individual and career, but not group and career. And the way we would do that is going back to analyze regression, we would simply change the variable that we left out. So maybe in this case, uh, we'll, let's clear these out and just start with an empty independent list box here. We're going to include individual and we're going to include career. So now group is left out of the variables that we're including in the list box. And we click OK. And now you can see, and this shouldn't be surprising, that the individual as compared to the group, you can see the interpretation here for the unstandardized coefficients. It's negative 9.4, so it'd be 9.4 fewer units on the dependent variable, which makes sense if the opposite is 9.4 more units. But below that is a coefficient that we did not see before, which is the negative 6.96. And that is the unstandardized coefficient for the relationship between group and career. So the career emphasis as compared to the group, we would expect roughly seven fewer units on the dependent variable. But notice that both of these are statistically significant. The comparison between group and individual and between group and career. I hope you found this video on creating dummy variables and applying them in multiple regression to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.